Well, poor Daddy, played by Hanny Stafford, has his hands full again. Snooks must have her tonsils removed, and it was only by promising her tons of ice cream that Daddy managed to get her down to the surgeon's office. As the scene opens, we find them both entering the waiting room. Listen. Oh, come on, Snooks. Don't hang out there in the hall. What's in there, Daddy? Nothing. It's only the surgeon's waiting room. Where's the surgeon? He's not in here. Come on. Oh, come on in. I'm far enough, Daddy. You can't stand there in the doorway like that. Why? Because I have to close this door. Well, where's the ice cream? You get plenty of ice cream after the doctor takes your tonsils out. I'm coming in. Oh, stop that. There now. Sit down. I'm scared, Daddy. Oh, Snooks, you said you were going to be very brave. It's just a minor operation. In 15 minutes, the doctor will have your tonsils. Why don't he get his own tonsils? Well, I won't talk about that now. I just don't have any fears. Oh, come on, Snooks. Laugh for Daddy. <laughs> Stop it. I want my tonsils back. Nobody's touch your tonsils. Besides, the doctor will probably give you several tests before he operates. Why? Well, I imagine he'll want to check your coagulation and look at your hemoglobin. I ain't wearing any, Daddy. <laughs> you don't wear hemoglobin. It's just the coloring matter of the red blood corpuscles. Oh, here comes a nurse. Take me home, Daddy. Hello, Mr. Higgins. Oh, hello, nurse. Hello, Snooks. Let me see your hand, dear. What are you going to do with that needle? I just want to prick your finger. You won't even feel it. What for? Oh, don't be afraid, Snooks. Here, nurse, I'll hold a hand. <laughs> I want some ice cream. Ah! <laughs> it's all over. Is my tongue told out? <laughs> no. <laughs> the nurse just took a sample of your blood so she can take a blood count. Isn't that right, nurse? That's right. Just rest now, dear. Where's she going with my blood, Daddy? <laughs> Into the laboratory. I want to go there, too. Oh, you can't go, Snooks. They don't allow anybody but doctors and nurses in there. Where's the doctor? I don't know. He might be tied up with a patient. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to tie me up? He doesn't tie anybody up. He'll put you to sleep when he works on you. I don't want to see I want some ice cream. Oh, Snooks. So, so. <laughs> Say... Look at the funny-looking skeleton. Where? Right there in the case. That's what the inside of you looks like. You too? Why, of course. <laughs> Everybody has one of those inside of him. Who does that one belong to? Oh, that skeleton belongs to the doctor. How did he get it out? <laughs> he didn't get it out. It was made for him by a medical supply company. Don't he like it? <laughs> Certainly he likes it. <laughs> Why don't he wear it? That's an artificial one. The doctor studies with it. Well, you feel a little better now, don't you, sir? I feel fine. Let's go home. Now, listen. If I thought anything would happen to you, I wouldn't have brought you here, would I? Wouldn't you? Of course not. This man is one of the best surgeons in the country. He never hurts anybody. No! <laughs> What's that, Daddy? Uh, why, uh, I suppose he's working on a patient. With a hatchet? <laughs> Don't be silly. I told you he never hurts anybody. Daddy! Uh, what's going on in there, nurse? The doctor was scrubbing up and he burned his own hand. He's ready for the little girl now, Mr. Higgins. Oh, Daddy. Oh, come on, Snooks. Nothing to worry about. That's a good girl. Oh, hello, doctor. Well, hello. Come right in, sweetheart. Where's the man? What man? The one you killed with the hatchet. Oh, Snooks. She's awfully upset, Doctor. Uh, we'll soon fix that. Uh, oh, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. Oh, what's all the doctors for, Daddy? Uh, prepare a sedative for the child, please. Preoperative. Uh, phenobarbital, half grain? It's indicated. Yes, Doctor. Who's he, Doctor? Uh, he's my anesthetist. Oh. Very capable. Now, let's have a look at the child's throat. Now, just sit back in this soft chair, my dear. If you touch me, I'll bite your nose off. No, <laughs> uh, Phenobarbital, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Will you administer? Certainly, Doctor. Here, little girl, I brought you a nice piece of candy. Swallow it with this water. You think I'm a dope, don't you? <laughs> What's the matter with you, Snooks? That ain't candy. Uh, sure it is. 
It's wonderful. Well, you eat it. Uh, <laughs> never mind. I'll handle her. Iodine swab, please, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. Now, Snooks, just close your eyes and open your mouth. I don't want to. I won't hurt you. What do you got behind your back? Nothing. Nothing at all. I know what it is. What is it? It's the hatchet you kill the man. <laughs> oh, Snooks, stop carrying on like that. He only wants to look at your tonsils. Heavens, when I was your age, they looked at mine hundreds of times. And I was never afraid. You sit here. Oh, my tonsils are all right. But just to show you, I'll sit in the chair and let the doctor do anything he likes. A good idea, Mr. Higgins. It'll give the child confidence. Yes, of course. Now, let me sit down, Silk. Now, see how wide I open my mouth? If he chops out your tonsils with the hatchet, you won't holler? Why, well, certainly not. Chop them out, Doctor. Oh. oh, my tonsils are perfect. Aren't they, Doctor? Well, uh... <laughs> One of them is a little inflamed. Huh? Uh, seems to be a necrosis in the glossopalatine fold, Doctor. Hmm, a very interesting case. I'd love to get my hands on those tonsils. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> this is ridiculous. My tonsils are in great shape. Are you scared, Daddy? No, I'm not scared. I'd have those removed if I were you, Mr. Higgins. We'll discuss that later. <laughs> Snooks, get back in this chair. <laughs> oh, I got a good look at the throat then. Did you see, Doctor? Yes. Shall we prepare? If it's all right with Mr. Higgins. Yes, go ahead, Doctor. But please be careful. Naturally. Anesthetic, Doctor. Already. Light narcosis. Moderate. Don't let them touch me, Daddy. Oh, they won't hurt you, dear. Just breathe deeply. I ain't going to breathe. Oh, there's nothing to it. See how I sniff it. <laughs> nothing. Why, of course not. Let me have a sniff too, Doctor. See? Make the other doctor sniff it too. Oh, very well. Oh, it's such a lovely smell, isn't it, Mr. Higgins? It... <laughs> Good heavens, he must have taken a deep one. What happened to my daddy? What did you give him, doctor? Why, he's... Uh... You too? Nurse, what's going on? <laughs> they all fell asleep. <laughs> I'll be... Thank you, baby Snook, Daddy and Company.